hello dear friends welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so we are discussing about the model question paper for the ec stream for the mathematics subject today i will discuss uh, about the model fifth okay question number 10a fit a parabola y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c for the data given x and y are given 1.0 1.5 2.0 okay this is your model question paper set one in question number 10a okay let us solve it so in the solution you have to remember some uh, standard equations in this particular topic so there are three standard equations for the parabola curve okay so they are given given by and it is very easy to remember dear friends let me tell you how to formulate these uh, standard formulas over here so summation of y is equal to a summation of square you write down like this so that you will remember easily summation of x y is equal to a summation of x cube c it is in the increasing order summation of x square y these are the three formulas and here i can write a summation of x raised power 4 a summation of x square a summation of x cube a summation of x raised power 4 in the increasing order you have to remember like this plus b summation of x plus b summation of x square plus b summation of x cube okay i hope you are getting it so see here b summation of x b summation of x square b summation of x cube like that you have to remember plus n c here you can write c summation of x plus c summation of x square this becomes your formula three standard formulas for this particular question okay now what you have to calculate in this summation of y you need already y is given when you just sum up these terms you will get summation of y right then summation of xy means when you just sum up these x into y uh, term then you have to sum up you will get summation of xy so you have to formulate a box in this okay that will be better so right here x y and what you need x y you need when you just calculate x y then sum up you will get x y uh, and x square i need here summation of x square right and also x square y i need x square y and what i need here x cube x cube and also x raised power 4 these terms i have to write in the box okay x is given 1.0 1.5 2.0 2.5 okay 3.0 3.5 4.0 this is x value y value is also given 1.1 1 1.3 1 1 1.6 2.0 2.7 3.4 4.1 right so now you have to calculate this xy xy means 1.0 into 1.1 that is 1 into 1.1 is 1.1 now 1.3 into 1.5 1.3 into 1.5 is equal to 1.95 okay so like that you have to calculate this now i will just write directly values here 3.2 2.0 uh, into 2.5 will be your 5 and then 8.1 11.9 16.4 this is the value of x y right then x square x square means you have to square this one square is one 1.5 square is 2.25 likewise you have to uh, calculate it i hope this calculation part is yours you will do it for 6.259 12. 12 point 12.25 this is 12.25 and 16 uh, and next one is x square y means this x square into y 1 into 1.1 that is 1.1 okay you just multiply it and this one 2.25 into 1.1.3 right so this will be what 2.95 i am just writing the direct values over here you should calculate it with the kelsey in the kelsey uh, uh, i just want to make this video as short as possible right so 2 6.4 12.5 24.3 41.65 65.6 okay now x cube means 1.0 cube you have to do so 1 and 1.5 cube is 3.375 this is your 8 15.625 okay this is your 27 42.875 and your 64 last term next is x raised power 4 means 1.0 x raised power 1.0 raised power 4 that will be your 1 and next is 1.5 raised power 4 is 5.06 and this is your 16 39.06 81 okay then next is uh, 150.06 and next is 256 this is all about your table okay formulation of the table so this is the, your final table for this okay now what i need in the equation that is the man point okay 
so i need see here summation of y means you have to sum up this y term you will get summation of y okay so i can write here when you just sum up this in the kelsey you will get 16.2 overall summation summation of y is equal to this one and also summation of x i also need so summation of x will be equal to 17.5 this is your summation of x this is your summation of y and also i need summation of xy when you just add up these terms you will get summation of xy is equal to 47.65 calculation power i am again telling you it is your, your part and x square when you just sum sum up this one you will get summation of x square is equal to 50.75 okay make a box for it and also summation of x square y i need summation of xy sorry x square y is equal to 154.47 you have to add these terms right so you will get summation of x square y then summation of x cube which is equal to 161.87 and next is summation of x raised power 4 which is equal to 548.18 okay now you have to put down these values in this particular equation so let me put it in the above equation <clears throat> see summation of y summation of y, y is 16.2 okay is equal to a summation of x square x square is here summation is 50.75 so i can write down 50.75 okay plus b b we have to calculate this b, b value okay then we can uh, put down this a b value in the final equation that is your parabola fit a parabola curve okay so this is your b summation of x summation of x is nothing but 17.5 plus n n is the number of terms so how many number of terms are there one two three four five six seven are the terms over there okay okay so right you have to write it over here that is seven times c this is your suppose fourth equation okay then next one summation of x y what is the summation of x y value 47.65 is equal to a summation of x cube a i am writing here summation of x cube is already here 161.87 plus b is as it is in summation of x square summation of x square is nothing but 50.75 plus c c times summation of x summation of x is nothing but 17.5 this is your suppose fifth equation okay next is summation of x square y so x square y is nothing but 154.97 which is equal to this one a summation of x raised power 4 uh, summation of x raised power 4 is 548.18 right plus b as it is summation of x cube so summation of x cube is uh, here 161.87 okay plus c times summation of x square so x square is here that is 50. Point seven five this is your sixth equation sorry now i hope this is visible okay so now i have to calculate this uh, in the kelsey over there as three unknowns are there a b c we have to calculate these a b c values in the kelsey okay let me calculate it now so you just go through option alpha a equation uh, first simon equation how many unknowns are there three so you have to write three here then put down the values what is the a value 50.75 right is equal to what is the b value 17.5 is equal to uh, this c value is 7 is equal to d value is this one 16.2 you have to take 16.2 is equal to. next a value is 161.87 is equal to 50.75 is equal to c value is 17.5 is equal to d value is 47.5 six five okay is equal to next is uh five four eight point one eight is equal to b value is one sixty one point eight seven is equal to fifty point seven five is equal to this one one fifty four point nine seven which is equal to is equal to so i will get x value means a value is equal to a is equal to zero point three three five a value is zero point three three five next b is minus 0 0.655 and c value is c is equal to 1.52 this is your value for the 
a b c so now put down these a b c value in the given equation that is parabola curve okay so y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c so you can write down y is equal to what is the a value a value i am getting 0 0.335 x square plus sorry b b value is negative minus 0 0.655 times x plus c value is 1.52 this is your answer for this particular question that is fit a parabola y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c i hope this is uh, clearly understood to you people so make sure you will share with this video with all your friends so who actually need it okay